Tempe at Town Lakes. Tempe um, Town Lakes all lit up at night. So gorgeous. And it's so fun. I love driving by there. There's usually a boat in the water or something like people are always having fun around there. Yeah, there's a lot to do down there. And this... Hey y'all, welcome to the Neighborhood News with Katie and Dana. This is our weekly show where we showcase different neighborhoods across the greater Phoenix area. Find us and previous shows on our YouTube channel. Our handle is at Team Evo AZ. I hope you enjoy the show. Oh my goodness, it is our very first Neighborhood News of 2023. Hello, reporter Dana. Hello, happy new year. Happy new year, y'all. It's real estate Katie, but I think you knew that because you have been watching us for well over a year now because we've been doing this for a long time, haven't we, Dana? It has been over a year. Can you believe it? I know, I know. It goes by so fast and it's so fun. And, and you know, being having sold real estate here now for 16 years in this particular area, I like to think I know everything. Of course I do. I mean, I know everything about this area, but you always teach me something new, Dana. So what do you have for us today? So you guys, yes, welcome to Bellagio at Tempe, which is a townhouse community of up almost 800 units in this really awesome complex. But, you know, I always find fun facts for you to learn from. <laughs> Love them. Um, and I thought because, you know, we always spotlight moms that run businesses. I wanted to talk real quick about the Tempe Public Library. Have you been there? I have not, but I have heard that it, wait a second, I might have. Is that also coupled with their, they have their historical, is there a historical building right there as well? I may have I, been there. I think so. Yeah. But they have expanded this library um, and the, I mean, this, the children's section alone is 18,000 square feet. Holy Everything smokes. is free. They do readings and all kinds of, of, of events there. So if you're looking for something to do with your kids, check out Tempe Public Library, guys. I was like, what? And it's something, you know, we don't talk about libraries very much anymore because everything's online so digital yeah it's so digital um but i wanted to really just talk about something different because i thought it was awesome and such a great opportunity for you to just do something with your kids out of the house for a couple hours yep so yep. i have the website and i'll share everything with you guys but that's our nugget for tempe today <laughs> uh, besides my background which is showcasing tempe at town lakes Tempe um, Town Lakes all lit up at night. So gorgeous. And it's so fun. I love driving by there. There's usually a boat in the water or something like people are always having fun around there. Yeah, there's a lot to do down there. And this neighborhood, as you guys can see with this green pin right here, it is super convenient right off the 101 and Rio Salado Parkway. So just east of the 101 there between Rio Salado and university. So it is a quick hop, skip, and a jump right over to ASU. We're going to showcase Sloan Park today. <laughs> hey, because if you didn't know, Dana is a huge Cubbies fan. So I knew we were going to hear all about that. I just wasn't sure when. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to hear all about that. If you guys saw my video, I was from head to toe in all Cubs gear. But yes, spring training starts soon, and I, I will share all of that. Um, but again, this is a very, very convenient location to hop down right on the 202 101. Um, so yes, so let's go right into our homes for resale. You guys, there are, there's actually five, but we're going to showcase one of our listings whoop, that whoop. actually went we under contract. Yeah, exactly. I was going to say it's kind of special. I mean, we listed the property on Thursday and we were under contract with a cash buyer by Sunday. Pretty darn good really, really exciting um, stuff. And it was busy at this open house, you guys. So um, there's five and they range from 340,000 to 479. Um, they're all townhouses, condo style. So you do have an HOA, which is 180 a month. Uh, and you do have some restrictions on your short-term rental. They need to be 90 days or more. And you can't have a short-term rental for more than, uh, what is it, four per Four times year. a year. Yeah. Four in a 12-month period. So just so you know, um, but that's, I mean, still 90 days, you know, if you're a traveling nurse or you want to come for, 
you know, snowbirds, whatever. Um, right. And I chose three and I will showcase our first one, which is and our listing. Is a gated community, I would like to add. So um, I've had that question and yes, so there is that sort of added level of security with the gates there. Yes, it is gated and it is, I mean, it's great. They've got a really nice pool. Like I said, all you can go, you walk right across the street to Sloan Park and then I called it Riverside. It's Riverview guys. Sorry, I'm a good you know what I mean? Yeah, it's called it the wrong name, but you know what I mean. <laughs> That's okay. There's lots of things called Riverside back East. So I'm going to give you that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so this one here, um, it is unit 1482. It is team Evo AZ's listing. And I know, I know. Listed for 460. It is a two bed, two and a half bath. Oh, 360. Sorry. Um, so just jumping up. It's only a hundred grand. No big deal. <laughs> Sorry guys. You're like, what? 360, 360, um, two bed, two and a half bath, which is great because this one is on the end. So it's quiet. You have a one car garage and an outdoor patio area. So it's the it's middle one, middle garage right there. It's a decent size, um, one car garage too. As you can see, you can fit, um, you know, a, a mid-size vehicle in there. I actually have a good friend that lives in this floor plan, not in this particular community, but in, in this exact floor plan. And she turned that garage into her home office. She put a little mini splitter on it. So she's got some AC out there or heat in the winter and it works really well for her. So, um, a just idea. a little tip there. Yeah. Right. Because you do have the one car garage and you also get one non-assigned permit spot. Mm -hmm. So there's permit parking all around. Also guest parking. This, this home, I love this back little patio area. Me it's too. so cute. You guys with your pavers, you've got that rock area. You could do something fun. Have a little barbecue. If you have a dog, they, they do have a two pet limit. So two cats, two dogs, whatever, you know, <laughs> two bunnies. Two bunnies, you know, I know you guys are all into bunnies lately. I love it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and let me just fly through. They, we took a lot of pictures just because we really wanted to showcase that area. This is the living area right off the kitchen. And then, so your half bath, you can see it there right around the corner is great to have on that first floor because upstairs, sure. upstairs are your two bedrooms and they're both en suite. So you have full bath um, in those bedrooms which is really nice your laundry is upstairs you've got some good storage in here too in addition to the garage which um i had uh, a woman walk in she's like where would i put my christmas stuff dana and i'm like open this door that one the right by closet the yeah exactly so you guys have some really good storage space here too if that's and the it. bedrooms have walk-in closets which is pretty awesome for this type of property and this square footage yeah, I know. It's awesome. They've done some updates to the bathroom, which is great. Again, carpet upstairs. And you've got some great views. Here's your walk-in shower. There's your garage. Yeah, you guys. So water heater out there. So that one is ours. Listed at 360. It's super cute. And then I thought I'd showcase this one as well, just to give you a good idea of some of the difference. Um, this one here is a three bed, two and a half bath, 1421 square feet. Oh, so this whole community was built in 2007. Um, so let me show you the photos. This one, it's got some new granite countertops, stainless steel appliances. Ooh, shaker caps. Nice updates. And, yeah, really nice updates. All new um, LVP for your flooring. Again, really bright light. If you hear my dogs, I'm really sorry. <laughs> Dane is a human. She has pets. Weird. <laughs> Weird, right? <laughs> In your um, pantry there, coming up the stairs, you do have a balcony. And you got fixture. I know. The light is so cute. There's your balcony, which is great. Sit outside and have your morning coffee, your sunrise, sunset, you know, our world oh, famous. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, newer carpet in there as well and I'll just kind of fly through these you guys again walk-in closets your shower 
Again, super, super cute community. It is super dog friendly too. Like there's all kinds of paths. You've got little park areas over there. Um, so again, if you, if that's, if that's you, you know, it's definitely pet friendly. This is your two car garage. Oh, nice. It's huge. Yeah. It's pet friendly and it's kid friendly too. I feel like if you're, you know, maybe just starting out, maybe you just got, you know, one or two kiddos, single mom, whatever it is, like it's across the street from not Riverside, but Riverview Park. <laughs> it's not and Riverside. that park yep. is awesome. There's a lake over there. You guys went and checked that. I mean, I've, I've been there a hundred times with my son, but you guys went and checked it out when we first listed the property. Did You went over and saw the lake and all that, right? We did. And there was all walks of life. It was about three o'clock on a Wednesday. And yes, at, there was all kinds of folks outside. You've got the lake, you can fish in it. Um, and yeah, it's just very walkable. There were some folks out playing handball. I think that's the name of the game. If I'm wrong, you guys correct me. I don't know. <laughs> Where they throw the ball on this bouncy net. They play it a lot at the beach. I think it's called handball. Help me out guys if I'm wrong. <laughs> um, and, and just so you know too, like I said, there is a HOA, you guys. Always wanna check that out, Villaggio at Tempe.com. This is your HOA website to check out anything and everything. If you have any questions, definitely reach out to us. And like we were talking about guys, Sloan Park. So if you're a Cubs fan, all my friends in Chicago, you need to come out, um, buy one of these properties from me and <laughs> we can go to the Cubs game. You guys spring training, it starts February 25th, directly across the street. So how fun is that? Um, so check that out. You can get your tickets. You also have the angels that play not far from there at Temple Diablo Stadium as well. So the Los Angeles oh. Angels. So if that's your team, you guys, they're not far from here either. So again, we'll share all these links in there. But again, everything is getting going. It's crazy that we're, I mean, nine days into January 2023 already. You know? <laughs> I can't. And it's like, like, I'm surprised every time. Every time we get on, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's been another week. Like as if I'm shocked after 43 <laughs> years that this happened. But it's shocking how quickly it happened. Don't you feel like it goes faster as we get a little bit older? Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. As we're closing in on. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah you know, you know, <laughs> awesome. And then like we were saying, Riverview Park right across the street, you guys, you can ride your bike, walk, play games, bring your dog, bring your whatever, and uh, enjoy sitting outside. This is a huge park. So mesaparks.com, check it out and you can get all the details on what, and they do have a bunch of stuff that goes on out there too. There was a bunch of pictures and things on here. So you guys kind of navigate around and enjoy it. Um, you're, like we said, the nice background is Tempe Town Lakes. And what I didn't know is this whole thing was created and it opened in 1999. So it hasn't been around that long, um, but you have parks, paths, recreation, concerts, there's a link on here that gives you more interaction and I'll share it right now. So you can click on any of these and it's just gonna tell you exactly what it is, like Hayden Butte um, Preserve oh, cool. Park. So we'll share the link with everybody. This is great just to you know kind of see where everything is at and it's definitely really easy to navigate around. So Tempe um, Gov, and you guys can figure all of this stuff out and enjoy it. Get your paddle boards out. It's almost paddleboard season. <laughs> well, and you see them all over. I mean, there's pedal boats and boards, and I don't think you can have a motorboat in there, but um, I don't think so. Mm, but I, haven't I know they them. rent, I know they rent paddle boards and possibly paddle boats down there, and maybe even kayaks. Oh, yeah, I've seen those. Yeah. So, yes. And then, Katie, I know you love um, ASU Gamage, so this is definitely a hop, skip, and a jump from this neighborhood, and this is right at ASU. This is your Broadway theater, and they've got all kinds of stuff. Have you been lately? I went to a different Broadway theater recently, so we went to the one in Peoria. Okay. The Arizona Broadway theater, and we saw A Christmas Carol, but yeah, I love this stuff. Yeah, Frozen, Annie, and they've got all kinds of things. Oh my gosh, Hairspray. I know, Beetle can we juice? go? <laughs> oh, we got to go to Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice and Hairspray. I do have a really funny story that it's probably going to take a little too long to explain, but I do have a funny story about Beetlejuice that I'll have to share one day. But let's go see Hairspray, you guys. Um, do it. So ASUGamage.com for all things here at ASU. And then you also, sorry, guys. Hey, 
Um, you have, uh, it's called the new mullet arena. The mullet? And it, I know, I know. It's definitely a family name. I didn't find out the history. I'm sorry, I will. Um, but yes, this is where the, the new stadium for hockey, for the Coyotes, for ASU, and this guy, <laughs> he's a comedian. <laughs> so they are holding events there as well, you guys. So this is right there, right at ASU Mullet Arena. So uh, mulletarena.com. So check that out. Tempe Town Marketplace is- Oh, I all- love Tempe Marketplace. I know. It's all outdoors, shopping, dining. You guys check out tempemarketplace.com. There's a whole store directory. Um, they have a cool band there too. They have an outdoor stage. I played there once back what? in the day day. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. You guys didn't know that Katie can sing. I didn't know that. <laughs> now you do. <laughs> Phoenix Zoo is right there as well. And they are still um, doing the zoo lights until January 15th, which I thought was great. Mm-hmm. Yes. I know 530 to 1030 PM. Um, so if you guys didn't get a chance to do that over the holiday, you still have what you got six days left to be able to go and see the zoo lights at the Phoenix zoo, bring your good shoes. Cause my friends went and they were like, we got like 10,000 steps in or more. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot of walking. <laughs> There's so much you guys. So also desert botanical garden is right there. They've got some really cool events coming up. Um, so again, check out everything here at dbg.org. So desert botanical garden, they and have we'll- a great restaurant in there too. I want to say it's called Gertrude's. I think so. I need to, okay. It's so good. So Matt and I went on a date night, uh, when they were doing the lights at the botanical garden, mm-hmm. this was a couple of years ago and we went and had dinner at, at I think it's Gertrude's first right there. It was so good and so fun. Oh, I love it. I will find out about that for everybody. Um, and we'll get that link in our notes as well. And then you're also right close to Pepico Park where you have um hole in the, I want to say wall, but I don't Rock. think it's wall. A hole in the wall <laughs> where you can walk up and view the sunset, you guys. If you haven't done that before, you definitely need to do that. Um, and then here's your library, tempepubliclibrary.org. You guys check it out. Like I was saying, they have so many events for kids. So if you're looking for something to do, this is it. If you're, again, something different, right? Mm -hmm. Um, Who isn't looking for something different? I mean, I see posts all the time. I know, I know. So that's it. And then we wanted to spotlight a few of our biz moms and the cookie company Tempe. These these guys are new. So they're right off Guadalupe and we're so excited. I cannot wait. I think I need to go down there this week and check them out and see how everything's coming along. But I really wanted to spotlight them, you guys. Um, It's a franchise and it's super cute. They've got a really good story behind it. It started started during um, COVID. So it's new, but look at all. I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm kind of a sweet tooth girl. And this muddy buddy, I was like, Mm -hmm. (laughs) my little guy has a birthday coming up and he loves all this fancy stuff like he I mean he's happy with cake and whatever but he loves it when I like one year I got him uh cupcakes that were all different and they were made with like snowboards on them so he thought that was really cool so this looks like I think he would like that M&M covered one I think we would all like that M&M covered yeah. ones, but Jack's really Maybe well. we should taste test it. <laughs> We're coming down to taste test, ladies. Uh, so cookieco.com, check them out. You guys, if you need anything for a special event or just want to go down and grab a cookie, they are your cookie people in Tempe. And then we have Elite Medical Beauty. So Erica Weatherford and her team um, are amazing injectors. So they are actually running a really, really great deal on fillers right now. Um, And they just expanded. So they're in three locations, Tempe, Gilbert, and Ahwatukee. And they're in the running, you guys, for Best of Ahwatukee. So I don't know if we could share that link and get them to win this category. Um, Like I said, they are offering um, a half of a syringe for $295, a full syringe for $480. And that is a fantastic deal. Um, I know Nick is lips are his thing, you guys. 
So they're awesome. I've had wonderful experience with them. So um, Elite Medical Beauty, let me share their Facebook page as well. EliteMedicalBeauty.com. Check out Erica and Nick and their whole team of injectors. They're fantastic. And let's stop sharing. And we just have to talk about schools real quick. So okay. Tempe, um, you have Tempe Elementary and Laird, L-A-I-R-D, I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly, Elementary, Tonnelly Middle School, and McClintock High School. As well as ASU. But we never and usually get into colleges typically. Sometimes we'll mention them if we're like near, you know, a, a campus. But ASU is super close. And, you know, quite honestly, that, that listing that we had had ASU students there. So a uh, great rental opportunity if you're looking to get into a rental, such a good area for renting out. So, so good, you guys. So, yes, Bellagio at Tempe. Sweet. <laughs> well, thanks so much, Reporter Dana. And if you guys out there are interested in checking out any of our previous shows, we have done, uh, I don't know, gazillion by now, uh, <laughs> neighborhoods. We've done them all. There. No, just kidding. There are so many more that we have left to go. So stick with us. Hop on over to our YouTube channel. It is at Team Evo AZ. Scroll down just a little bit. You'll see the playlist for the neighborhood news. And that is where all of our episodes are kept nice and neat and pretty. If you are more of the audio version, maybe you like to run a lot, drive a lot, that kind of thing, then hop on over to your favorite podcast platform. Do a quick search for Arizona Real Estate Radio, and that is where you'll connect with all of our shows, including Tip Tuesday, which Dana loves to do. She gives a tip every week, including our monthly market update, including real estate fitness, like including everything, guys. There's everything over there. So we will see you there, and we will see you next week. We sure will, you guys. Happy New Year. Bye.